spiritual warfare. Hallelujah. Tumesha fanya hizo vita za kiroho. Kwa hivyo ni kwa nafasi chache sana ya kufanya maandiko. Yaani vita za kiroho kwa Kiswahili ni hivyo. Spiritual warfare. Tuko katika malango ya mwaka na kwa hivyo kila wakati tunapokuwa katika malango lazima tufanye vita. Ni kwa sababu adui hata kuacha tu vite wende katika hati nyingine hasina yeye kukuzuilia. Na kwa hivyo kila wakati hata kama ni mwezi sisi tunamaliza mwezi wa pili unapoingia kwa mwezi wa tatu ni vizuri ufanye vita na malango za huo mwezi ni kwa sababu usipofanya hivyo uenda mapepo yanakuzuilia ama nguvu za Giza na wale wa kwa shetani wanafanya mipango na kuhakikisha kwamba wamekusababisha usifike katika hati na nako. Kwa hivyo spiritual warfare That is this it is the battle. Ni vita and this battle has to do with the spirit. Sina ni kwa ni vita ambazo ni za kiroho. Sio vita za kupigana ngumi ama zile wrestle ama zile zile kwa mnasema nini kwa TV. Royal Rambo na nini nyingine za wrestle. Sio za hiyo. Hii ni vita ambazo ni za kiroho. Kwa hivyo
that is happening in the spiritual realm. Whatever it is an ongoing battle, a fight, hostility between two parties, we are what we are Do we have to see that we are Shetan? Do we have Mungu that we are Shetan? What is what we are This is Peter, the Lord, 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 Yeah. <laughs> 
15 ya kwamba Mungu aliweka uadui katika ya mbele ya mwanamke na shetani. Kwa hivyo kuna chuo ya kwamba what does that tell you? Ninakwambia definitely there is a war in front of us. Kuna vita mbele zetu. Kwa sababu kama itangazwa in Genesis which is in this world unahitaji kukua mtu ambayo utakuwa sensitive in the spirit. Ni kwa sababu kijaribu tu kuzembea kidogo the enemy will take over your life. In 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 uh, uh, Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12 tunapata pale somoleti la kwanza ile kusema kwamba ikawa uh, you, you put on the full arm of God maana vita ambazo tuko nazo sisi sio za mimi wala damu ni za roho tena sema hivi eh kwanza sikilebe baadhi sana zote za Mungu mpata kuweza kupika hii kupika kupika ina za shetani kwa maana kishikana kwetu sisi si juu ya damu na nyama bali ni juu ya fame maulaki sasa ndio tutapigana nazo unapigana na fame na kwanza unapigana na mamlaka ya pili unapigana na 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 kwa kuwa giza you know na kama mkuu wako katika giza how will you know him utamuonaje utamtuaje and that's why we need to pray and ask God to give us the spirit of the son alafu ya nyingine ni kwamba juu ya majeshi ya pepo wabaya katika ulimwengu wa roho kwa hivyo hizo ndio vitu ambazo huwa tunapigana nazo in this world and that's why nimekwambia unaweza ukasema ya kwamba unataka kwenda kufanya gym ukikutana na shetani mpigane na yeye au utakuwa unafanya gym ili sasa labda ukule zaidi na lakini kwa sababu utaenda kupigana na shetani umejidanganya ni kwa sababu tunaongelea kuhusu mapepo wachafu tunaongelea kuhusu wakuwa na watawala katika hivi giza tunaongelea juu ya ya, ya, ya fame juu ya mamlaka ni vitu ambazo kushindana nazo unahitaji kuko medivika silaha zote za Bwana kwa hivyo though even though the spirit themselves guardians of our own they would like to be known and they will be pretend to be real hizo maroho bibilia inasema hivi in first peter chapter 5 and verses 8 First Peter chapter 5 and verses 8 ya kwamba sasa hiyo ndio maroho hizo inasema ya kwamba muwe na kiasi na kukesha kwa kuwa ushani wenu ibilisi kama simba angumai usuguka zuguka akitafuta mtu wa kumeza kwa hivyo tunatakikana we should be alert in the spirit and that's why the Bible also says in first Corinthians chapter 12 and verses 10 ya kwamba this is the gift of the spirit And this are the gift of the spirit bila inasema hivi nimesiko out to hiyo verse today because nimetaka kuzungumzia the gift of the spirit of the son of the spirit bila inasema hivi verse today na mwingine matendo ya mjiza na mwingine unabii na mwingine kubabanua roho mwingine aina za lugha na mwingine tafsiri ya lugha kwa hivyo kubabanua roho tunahitaji Mungu atusaidie na tuombe kwa bidii ya kwamba Mungu atatupatia hiyo spirit of bizani because if you don't have that spirit utakuta ya kwamba utakuwa tu naingiza kila kitu utakuwa tu naingiza kila kitu at the end of the day the devil atakuwa amemalizana na wewe and your your state itakuwa kama ile mtu ambaye alikuwa makaburini mwenye bibilia inasema kwamba alikuwa kaburini na akawa amefungwa katika makaburi and that's why most of us akili zetu hatima zetu zimefungwa makaburini yes tunawezekana tunatembea tunawezekana tunasoma tunawezekana tumeolewa tumeoa tunawezekana tunafanya kazi na lakini zile kazi zilishafungwa kwa makaburi inawezekana unasoma ile ile masomo ya kufungwa kaburini and that's why una struggle you are living a life ambayo ni bare maisha ambayo ni tasa ndio uko na dieti uko na degree uko na diploma uko na whatever phd but it's not helping you why ni kwa sababu already the enemy alimalizana na wewe kitambo kwa hiyo wewe umebaki tu kuonyesha ya kwamba niko na cheti niko na ABCD ninafanya kazi as much as ninafanya kazi because already 
Ukarne of Spirits unapambanua maroho sio roho moja maroho zenye zinakuja unajua kwamba hii ni hivi na hivi and that's why we need you know seers you know kuna tofauti ya seer na msaada in the bible we had the seer nathan was the seer kwa hivyo biblically there is a seer godly na kuna msaadi. Huyo ndio mmetuko naambiwa siku ya kwamba mtu anaenda kwa msaadi kumuona. Kwa lakini Esia, Esia is the is supposed to be in the church. If we don't have such a person in the church, then kuna vitu vingi zitaingia tu pasini na nini kujua. And that's why during the times of David, God used Nathan. Mungu alimtumia Nathan. Nathan was a seer. Akaenda akamwambia kwamba wakati ambapo alikuwa amefanya ushirati na mke wa Uria. Kwa hivyo eh, in the body of Christ katika mwili wa Yesu we need to pray. Ya kwamba kama mkuna Mungu mtu anainua, Mungu amuinue kabisa because atakuwa anatusaidia katika kila man. All of us cannot be seers. All of us cannot be prophets. All of us cannot be maybe whatever. But Mungu anainua mtu fulani katikati yetu miongoni mwetu ili atusaidie katika hii huduma ama katika huduma zingine jinsi ambavyo Mungu amezipositioni kwa Yesu asifiwe. And that's why you need to pray more. Ukisikia kwamba kuna mtu Mungu anamfunulia, hata mpiga ile kipawa hita. Because sometimes you might be fighting God yourself. Na when you fight God yourself, wewe utapatikana kwa mashaka. Mungu amemuinua mahali pale ni the reason. Because pia usipofunuliwa, kuna mambo mingi ambayo yatafanyika ambayo kanisa ama huduma haitakuwa. Utakuwa umebaki kwa mak And that's why we need God to raise more servants of God katika hayo maeneo ili Mungu awatumie zaidi na zaidi. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Sasa hivi in the in the uh, globally na nimesema kwamba vita hizi shetani anapigana nazo and the activities za shetani they are becoming more evident in our lives in our homes in our schools in churches in government institutions and even in the society right now to na hii issue ya LGBTQ you know hiyo ya lesbianism and gayism saa hizi ndio sasa inakula watu kichwa because now pia shetani ametumia tena hiyo bingu wamelikolize katika sheria katika 
Kanisa is of it. Bible says that in Exodus 14 and verse 28, ya kwamba yale maji ya karudi ya kutolikiza magari na wapanda farasi hata jeshi lote la farao likaingia katika bahari nyuma yao hawakusalia hata mtu mmoja. Kwa hivyo this is the man of God. He fights to conclude. He fights to finish the battle. Hawachipo kote pale. Kwa hivyo shetani ameangamia kwa sababu hata tuweza katika shina la Yesu Kristo.
challenge in your life to teach you to fight. Because if you don't fight, then you can fight a karma and do it as a kudandamiza. In Judges chapter 3 and verses in Judges, not Genesis, in Judges, Judges in Wamuzi, chapter 3 and verses 1 and 2, the Bible says the karma.
Yaani Mungu alikuwa amemsababisha amemfundisha kupigana vita. Tuko na Abraham ambao ni baba yetu ya imani. Wakati ambapo ndugu yake Lutu watu walikuja wakachukua mali zao, wakashika matenga Lutu. Biblia inasema kwamba katika Genesis ya kwamba Abraham alitoka akaenda na jeshi lake kukomboa ndugu yake nani Lutu na vitu zote ambazo tulikuwa tumechukua. Kwa hivyo hao ni watu wawili. Tuko na Moses. Moses alipigana vita Kwa hivyo nikaomba, nikasema kwamba hautafaulu. 
katika jina la Yesu. That's why nimeambia kwamba tunapigana vita na Mungu kila saa anakufundisha. Kwa hiyo usikuwa tu mwepesi, oh niliota nikikula keki na nikakula chakula chakula nikameza. My friend, unajua je mbona kuna wewe? Eh? Usifurahiane tu sababu za nikitamu. Mwanzo anaweza kukuletea kama hii black forest. Na unajua na utamu wake. Nasema hizo sasa ndio wape taitianze kukuja. Ya kwamba umeshi 